Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah, also known as Tropical Plant Addict. And today I'm extremely excited to be showing you this amazing terrarium here by a company called Oase. It's called the Biorb Air and it is certainly not your usual terrarium and I'll tell you why in a minute. I'm gonna be planting it up for you today with this awesome selection of plants here in front of me. Oas have kindly sent me this Biorb Air. I'm extremely grateful and I cannot wait to plant it up. I'll link below their website and also a video on exactly how you can set up the Biorb Air. Today I mainly wanted to focus on planting it up for you. The Biorb Air really appeals to me for quite a number of reasons. The first being that it actually provides humidity for your plants, so it automatically mists your plants throughout the day. And there's a few different settings for this, so depending on how many plants you've got inside it and the type of plants is to how much mist will come out of it. The humidity is created by an ultrasonic fogging system. So as you well know, there are many plants that require high humidity and they can be really tricky to keep happy in your home. For me, I've always struggled with ferns. I absolutely love ferns, but I can never keep them alive. They always just go really crispy and eventually just die off. So I am extremely happy that I can keep ferns inside the biob and hopefully watch them thrive. Another plant I would love to see thrive is a Calathea white fusion, because that's another one that I have issues with. Also plants like begonias, fetonia, and terrestrial orchids would be perfect for this terrarium. It's also a pretty good size, so you can fit quite a few plants in it. The size is 50 centimetres by 56. The next thing that really attracts me to this terrarium is that it provides your plants with 12 hours of bright light per day and it also mimics sunrise and sunset, which is really clever. It's powered by six LED lights at the top of the dome. One of the problems that I face in my home is that I've actually run out of places to put plants that require bright light. So my windowsills are looking pretty full and I'm quite limited now as to what I can put in the room. Also, many plants don't like direct sun, so that can be a problem during the summer if you get quite a lot of sun on your windowsills. I end up having to either take the plants off the window for the afternoon or just move them about, which is a bit of a pain really. I plan on putting my biorb about 15 feet away from a west facing window. So it's gonna go on my dining table. And currently I can only put plants on there that can tolerate low light. So at the moment I have got a couple of um, calatheas and my maranta. The biorb provides ventilation for your plants through a carbon filter at the top. So this will eliminate condensation as the air is recycled throughout the terrarium. So that will make sure that it always looks nice and clear for viewing. I'm extremely limited as to what I can put in this room because I've got my pet birds. I'm really excited to be able to have some of my favorite plants inside the terrarium and not worry about my birds getting hold of them. Okay, let's get to the exciting part, planting it up. I've been dying to do this for a few weeks, but I've been waiting on a few plants, so I've been very patient. The biorb comes with all the accessories you need to plant it up, including this special Koya compost block. Right, let's plant it up. I'm just gonna put it here. I might zoom in a bit, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I've just lifted the lid up and turned it on its side so I'm able to plant it. So this side here is actually the back. So I'm just going to start by putting the compost in.
okay, it's all planted up and it looks absolutely amazing. Probably better than what I thought it was gonna look like. The anthurium's probably a little bit big for it, but I'll keep it in for now and then I can replace it with something else or I'll just see how it goes. What I'm gonna do is move it over to the dining table and plug it in so you can see it lit up and then you'll be able to see the plants much better. Also, I'll show you where to put the water because there's a water tank at the bottom with a water level indicator here on the side. And I think you usually have to fill this about once a week. All I can say is, wow, look at it. I haven't even switched it on yet and it looks amazing already. I'm just gonna put the water in the reservoir at the bottom and then I'm gonna put the top part in and fill it with water for the misting. I think I'm gonna get myself a little jug. So you just literally tip the water around the edge and then you check the water meter at the side. Ooh, someone's interested. Okay, I'm just gonna fill the top part with the humidity mist. And it says, keeps your bio uh, clean and clear without calcium or mineral buildup for maximum clarity and enjoyment. Add to the misting reservoir or use with a misting attachment to regularly mist the plants and foliage. And now I'm going to switch it on. If you'd like me to keep you updated on the Biorb Air, how it's doing, general maintenance, how the plants are looking, things like that, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make another video for you. Here in the UK, the Biorb Air retails for around £350. You can choose from white or grey, so it'll suit any decor. There's also Biorb fish tanks and I'm really tempted to get one of these and I've been looking at them for quite a while. I just received these three little beauties here from the Netherlands. Some more jewel orchids. I do plan on putting them in the biob. I think I'm gonna plant them up at the front here with their little friends. If anyone else has got one, let me know what you think of it and what you've got planted in yours. And feel free to Tag me in your photos on Instagram so I can have a look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again to Oase for sending me this amazing terrarium. And if you'd like me to make a follow-up video on it, just let me know. Take care, everybody, and see you all soon in my next video. Bye. Blow me a kiss.